Tis Army, you began your upskilling journey. You were using a lot of for loops and other types of iterators to move through your data sets line by line to do some sort of data processing. However, when you start using modules like Pandas um, and others that were built specifically for data processing, there's a new approach called vectorization that will allow you to move through your data significantly faster, which can result in significant time savings. My name is Chris Pulliam. I'm a PhD measurement scientist, and today we're going to discuss vectorization. Let's get into the notebook. In the first cell, we're going to set up our environment. We're going to import a number of libraries to, for data processing, data visualization, and for timing. We're going to store the time data as a dictionary. We're also going to use another dictionary to help build out our data set. The data set will have numerical values, 100,000 values um, that we will store as a data frame. And I will sort of display that here. So I'm showing the first five rows in our single column data frame where the column is named nums. Uh, you can see the shape here is 100,000 with a single column. Okay, so now we're going to demonstrate four modes of data processing. The first one is a traditional for loop. Um, and so I'm assuming if, you, if you're watching this video, you probably have some experience with this, so I'm not going to live code it. Um, but the, the outline of these cells are we have a start time uh, using the time module. This will sort of tell us uh, the actual time we we'll begin. We're going to use a list container to then do our multi-line uh, for loop processing. And so we're going to iterate through df.nums, that's data series, look at the value. If the value is less than 50, we're going to append true to that list. If it's greater than 50, it will append, uh, append false. We then take that list and assign it to a new um, data series called, or new data column called loop. We stop the timer and then we add that time delta time into our time dictionary. And so this took uh, four lines of data processing. We also have to initiate an empty container to do this. We'll look at the, the list comprehension, which is also another mode of iteration. However, um, this is only done in a single line. And so we still have our for value in df.nums, which is an iterator, uh, evaluate this equal, uh, equality statement However, instead of building an empty container as we did in the cell above, we simultaneously do this and then we get assigned to a column in our data frame called list comprehension. We stop the timer and then we add that, that delta time to our time dictionary. Okay, so lastly, we move to vectorization where we again start the timer. Um, however, instead of using an iterator, we use uh, the fact that we can uh, determine the quality of the entire data series at once. And so versus going line by line or row by row, we will just evaluate if all the elements in df.nums are less than 50 at the same time. And so this is that vectorization approach where each element will be simultaneously processed. We will assign this to a new column called vect. We'll stop the timer and then record that time in our dictionary. I forgot to run that cell. And so before we look at the results, we can look at the dictionary. And over these past few videos, you see that dictionaries can be used for a lot of different approaches. Um, but here you see uh, pretty obviously that the, the loop and the list comprehension are actually appearing around the same amount of time. If we look at the data, we will convert that dictionary into a data frame and then plot it. Um, and we see that um, the loop and list comprehension actually in this case um, have about the same time, at least when we evaluate to three decimal places and the vectorized approach is about an order of magnitude faster. Now I've run this code uh, a number of times to see how the values uh, tend to play out and this is generally what I see. There's not much difference here between the loop and the list comprehension. Sometimes the list comprehension is a little bit lower. However, the vectorized approach is typically a lower magnitude faster. And thus, when you're processing large amounts of numerical data, you really want to uh, take advantage of vectorization for numerical processing. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.